Welcome to News 12 My Town. The web it is now time, ladies and gentlemen, to join our new members, our members returning to office, to witness their oath of office, and to hear their words that they're going to impart upon us this evening. It gives me pleasure again to call on County Executive Steve Levy to administer the oath of office to Councilwoman Susan Berlin. If Mrs. Berlin's family will please join us. Well, uh, Sandy and the kids are coming up. I, I, I just want to uh, make a couple of remarks, and that is. <laughs> um, Susan is really the prototype legislator, elected official that our founding fathers had in mind. Maybe not by gender, but uh, at least from the perspective of being a citizen legislator. And that is someone who first and foremost has this affinity with the local community and wants to give back to that particular community through public service. Now, she's extremely bright, extremely capable, and very intelligent, but really what makes Susan so special is she can be any mom out there in Huntington, any PTA member, any civic leader, any Chamber of Commerce member. She really is what Huntington is all about, and that's what makes her such a great advocate for the community because she's the heart of the community. So congratulations, and let's get on with it. Registered to vote today. You solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. And to uphold the duties of the Office of Councilwoman. To the best of my ability. So let me ask. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. I first would like to thank our County Executive Steve Levy for the wonderful introduction. I'm so lucky, so lucky to call you my friend. Let's start this year with a renewed commitment to working together, to making a difference, and to accomplishing our goals. First, we need to renovate and enlarge the Dix Hills Ice Rink. Our residents deserve nothing less. We do not have enough ice time for our own kids' teams to skate. We don't have enough ice time for a senior skate or a handicapped skate. And our doors overflow with tweens every Friday night and our rink. Our existing rink needs to be brought up to par and a second slab of ice added to provide our residents with the quality programs they deserve. This project is a long time coming and together we can make this an ice rink of which we can all be proud. We also need to build a boathouse for the rowing teams in our town. Our rowing teams are expanding, but they have no place to keep their boats. Although we are working quite well with the county to renovate Condra Hall, it's not enough. Because this renovation, although needed, doesn't provide enough space. It doesn't provide more space for the rowing teams. It's time to address this issue, and I plan to do just that. Most important of all, we need to ensure that our town government is fully transparent, open, and accessible to all citizens. But how? One sure way, a way that will bring our town government into the 21st century, is to take advantage of the utility-funded governmental TV channel that is now available to us. Together with the supervisor, I plan to develop a program entitled What's Happening Huntington. It will not only feature the latest cultural events, the latest business openings, the latest school events, but will highlight the important issues affecting our town. I know the supervisors even talked about doing a Cooking with the Supervisor show. Can't wait to work with him on that. But well, we need to utilize this governmental channel for more. When I was first elected, I promised I would do everything I could to make town government more open, accessible, and accountable. And the first piece of legislation I sponsored was the Fair, Open, and Accountable Government Act, which began the process of making planning board and zoning board hearings more open to the people. But now we have the means to take the next step, to bring town government directly to the people of our town, by televising town board meetings and planning board and zoning board hearings. We experimented with this several years ago. 
broadcasting a number of town board meetings online, but the technology was still evolving. Today, technology has advanced, and we need to be on par with our sister towns, including Brookhaven, Smithtown, Southampton, Riverhead, South Hull, East Hampton, and Shelter Island. We need to show the, the public that our town government truly is open and transparent. And what better way to do that than televising these meetings? I welcome your support and participation in this effort. And there are many other important and beneficial uses we can make of our town's new broadcasting capability. One I am eagerly looking forward to is televising the Huntington Youth Council's upcoming first youth forum. The Huntington Youth Council, which I created four years ago, is made up of representatives of each of the ten high schools in the town. These are incredibly young adults who are focusing on the tough issues, and they will make a difference. The Youth Forum will be the Youth Council's first public town board meeting, and will be open to all high school students. It will be a time for Huntington's youth to debate the issues that matter to them most. It is also important to encourage our young people to get involved, to give them the opportunity to understand from the earliest moment that they can make a difference, that they can influence the future and make all our lives better. So stay tuned. This group is going to do big things before the school year is out, and I am confident that each and every one of you will be able to see it all happen, whether you attend in person or watch it from the comfort of your own home. One of my highest priorities when I was first elected was to renovate the senior daycare center. I am proud to report that the renovation has been accomplished. Having doubled the size of the facility by expanding into the unutilized courtyard, we now provide a state-of-the-art daycare center for those in our senior population who cannot be left unattended during the day. The Senior Center provides meals, entertainment, companionship, workshops, and gives our families the peace of mind that their loved ones will be taken care of, and at a quite reasonable rate, I might add. And this all happens while the families are at work. I truly, truly believe working together we can accomplish anything. When I was elected six years ago, I pledged to be a full-time council person, and I have kept that promise. Today I will tell you that I will continue to be your full-time council person. Please pick up the telephone and call me. Send me an email. Let me know your thoughts and ideas. Let's do this together. So on a closing note, I have to thank the most important people in my life, my family. Sheila and Avi, you are two of the most honest, caring, compassionate, and giving people I know. My life is better with you both in it. And to my children, Stephanie, Alex, Skyler, and Grant, you are the best. We joke that I promise not to cook until after election day. Well, when you were younger, you longed for that home-cooked meal. Now, I think you prefer the takeout. So don't worry, we'll keep up with the takeout. Thanks for doing without me for more time than I would have liked. But you know that I love you all so very much, and I'm so proud of each of you. You're great kids. My thanks, too, to my amazing husband, Sandy. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing this wonderful journey with me. I'd like to dedicate this evening to my mom, who was unable to join us, and to my dad, who I know is watching from his seat up above. May his memory be for a blessing. Again, I'd like to thank all the voters of Huntington for their trust and allowing me to continue to serve as your representative. It's a privilege and a responsibility I take very seriously. I will not let you down. May God bless all of us in this new year. Thank you. <laughs>